Chip Roy introduces legislation to eliminate X gender marker on U.S. passports. Such a serious guy right there. Look at look at that serious face. Super serious. I'm super serial. <laughs> Travelers seeking to leave the country may no longer be able to choose an alternative gender identity marker on their U.S. issued passport under new legislation being introduced by Representative Chip Roy on Wednesday. I mean, this isn't going to pass. And the reason this isn't going to pass is because passing legislation requires Effort and resources, and ain't nobody gonna put effort and resources in this BS. Under the Passport San Passport Sanity Act. <laughs> Bro, this is so online. This is so online. This is one of the biggest problems with Ron DeSantis' campaign is how... <coughs> <coughs> Yo, it is red outside. I'm sorry, yo, the smog and the air quality. I remember I was talking about that when I first, because I'm here in Jersey. I look to, it is like straight red outside. I apologize. Let me get back, back into this. But the Passport Sanity Act. This is so, it, uh, let me just continue. The State Department would be prohibited from issuing a passport or other travel documents that contain the unspecified ex-gender designation, according to a copy of the legislation obtained by the Washington Examiner. The proposal comes just one year after the Biden administration announced it would allow passport applicants to self-select their gender identity without submitting medical documentation, even if the designation did not match other government documents. Senate aims to navigate conflict. Uh, okay, that's something else, my bad. Quote, I don't know how Chip Roy sounds, so I can't imitate his voice properly. There are two sexes, male and female, and government documents like passports should reflect that self-evident truth, Roy said. Passports exist to accurately identify people, not play pretend with radical gender ideology. Anti-science, radical gender ideology has no place in our government, and it's time for Congress to step in and restore sanity. Who's up in arms about this? I didn't even I didn't even know I, I I'm a I follow politics for a living. This is what I do. And I had absolutely no clue that the Biden administration allowed for people basically to have more of an option between just male and female on a passport. Uh, no, I don't think there's I don't know. I don't think there's red embers floating. I, I can't see that the windows actually closed. I'll just see it shining through. But. It is it's red outside, and again, it stinks like it. It smells like something's burning everywhere you go outside. It's crazy. But yeah, who who is up in arms about this? Ain't nobody up in arms. I did like I said. I didn't even know that people now had an extra option. Why? Because who cares? The legislation will require that all passports and passport cards only list male or female gender designations, and will prohibit the State Department from issuing cards with X gender markers. It's not clear whether passports that have already been issued with the X marker will still be accepted, but the legislation would block the State Department from producing more. And just one more paragraph. The State Department announced in March 2022 that it will begin offering the unspecified gender markers. See, I had no clue that that happened. And if I did, then I forgot because again, who cares? I don't care. Like, why? Making it the first federal government agency to do so, the option was created for individuals who identify as non-binary or gender non-conforming as a way to be respectful of individuals' privacy while advancing inclusion, according to the department. The bill is set to be introduced in the House today. So he introduced it today. But of course, this is not going to pass um, because it, it don't nobody care. You know what I'm saying? Like, 